right, here goes the rest of them. Look at that, that's how you straight up kill every stalker in sight. Look at this battleground right here. This EMP is way too powerful. What is going on everybody? Ryan here playing Subnautica. Now, um, since I'm still, I'm actually now just in the progress of rebuilding this world, but in a, um, in a safer world because I've decided just experimental version and all that is just way too buggy. It's just, it's just way too risky to put all of our life on the line like that. It's very upsetting when things don't work out and the whole thing is just rather heartbreaking. But of course, we still all need our Subnautica fix, so here I am to mess around. And um, of course, I'm not going to save any of this, but I do in here. My ass, there's no Seamoth docked right there. I'm staring at Glojin. So, um, yeah, I'm going to mess around a bunch in this world right now, but I'm just not going to save anything because it's going to be irreparable damages. Because right now, I just want to go and look at two things that are being added to the game. One right here is the scanner room, and the other is actually not being added to the game at all. I misspoke. I just went to go... I want to go duke it out with a Reaper Leviathan. Find one and put some torpedoes up his ass. I'm just so confused. See that right there? That's that's what I was talking about. Subnautica is way too buggy these days, man. I can't can't or not just too buggy. It's just experimental version. It just gets way too risky. And well, I mean it's pretty standard in the name. It's experimental, so I do apologize to everyone here who wanted just standard Subnautica survival series stuff because we're gonna be going a little off the reins today. But I mean. I've done so many standard Subnautic episodes that it's okay to mess around occasionally, you know? We gotta have fun. Explore the game for more than just what it is. Like, for example, I don't know when I would ever get the chance to go and go on a suicide run against the Reaper Leviathan armed with nothing more than torpedoes and a few other Seamoth modules. That would just be like a waste of like three episodes worth of resource gathering right there and wouldn't be very wise. So now we are stacked, son. Since I'm not saving any of this, I'm dumping you. Yo, I don't even need to collect my resources right now. Oh, we're on vacation now, everybody. No rules. Probably shouldn't litter, though, because even when there's no rules, it's never okay to litter. Just gonna make a few more torpedoes, and let's go get a little adventurous around here. That's what I'm saying. Adventure is uh, in the house. Damn you, I thought my Z-Mod here was just confusing me. So first things first, before we go anywhere, I'm just going to show off this little thing right here, which of course isn't done yet, it's still being perfected, and oh good golly is it. I'm just so, just always so pleased with the Subnautica dev team, they're like gaming patriots. Now how the hell would I, wait god, Jesus this base was not designed with cleverness in mind at all. Like the last thing that base was designed with was the idea of having a Seamoth travel safely through. I sure am going to enjoy messing with Subnautica right now. I still have some vengeance in the back of my mind that I want to take out on this place. You know the bitch of the thing is, I've said this last time, but when I activate all blueprints, I have all blueprints. Like, I already had them all, pretty much. I had completed the game for the most part, and then I have to do it all over again. But I'm just doing most of it off camera when I have to recomplete everything because you guys don't want to see all that stuff. Okay, so here we have the scanner room, which is being... Wow, I was talking about this like a minute ago. It's being worked on, of course, it's not nearly complete, but what is complete about it so far is just so freaking impressive. This is just gonna be the most useful thing to have in your base ever. Ever, ever, ever. See, here we have a full scan of like the mountain around us, like we just, have the, the entire region around us. And although right now it really doesn't show anything, I assume in the future it's going to show fish and different life forms, which of course would be so useful if one day you're just chilling at base and then your your scanner room tells you there's a Reaper Leviathan quickly approaching. This I'm ex I'm very excited for. If this if this shows any kind of fish, I'll just know what I want to go hunt and what I want to go do. Plus, I know there's a mermaid hoe in this world somewhere, and I'm gonna find her with this. See, it's still so brand spanking new that you can't use this. Clearly, some modules will be able to fit in there. Maybe not clearly, but it looks like some modules will be able to fit in there, which means we'll be able to pimp this room out with sorts. That's just cool, dude. A holographic ceiling. Wow. Star Wars flashbacks. And then the other thing over here, we'll have the control camera. Where you just click. Horribly placed scanner room, so I can see his walls. But with the scanner cameras, you'll be able to see everything on the outside of your base. Why does it show distance one? Distance six? What's going on there? Pretty freaking crazy though, right? Like, you'll legit be like that. Oh my god, I almost feel sad showing this before it's complete, but I just know there's a lot of other people out there using the experimental version too, so it's not like I'm ruining some kind of secret or anything. It's just Subnautica devs doing their regular magical stuff. I almost, 
I almost feel like I'm ruining a Christmas surprise like a couple days early before it's complete, but that's, I mean, I'm just ex as excited for the updates as you guys are. I'm just as big a victim as you are. Check this out. I, I, you could be the cameras and the cameras could, holy crap, look at them, they're little Oculus eyeballs. Oh my god, that's so magical. Remote control cameras. 99% energy. Oh my god, this just got so much cooler. I didn't even know this was a thing. Is there a max depth? Wow, dude, we have finally little remote control like probing cameras. This changes everything. Wow, well, hopefully these are able to board onto the Cyclops eventually. We could just prop these little bad guys out. Oh my god, where have you been all my life? This is one of those things I didn't even realize we needed, but now that we have, how have we been playing without it? This is... This is just, oh my god, bravo, gentlemen, bravo, ladies and gentlemen, down at Subnautica headquarters. Ah! Sorry. This shit's expensive. I've never even fully explored the inside of this cave because it's so dark and just vast. It's vast as hell. It's so freaking big in here. This is why I originally chose the island because it's just all this nonsense below us. I wonder if we'll be able to find the moon pool through here. This is so freaking cool. I wonder if these things get attacked or anything. That would suck. <laughs> Look at that. We straight up just barrowed up to our to our base. Like you could go in from the bottom holes. The whole thing connects. That is just magical. Hey, here's all my stuff I littered. Wow. <laughs> this is too cool. Scanner room for the wind right here. If I do say so myself, this is one of the coolest things I've seen yet in Subnautica. Apparently I'm very easy to please, but I feel like it's a very cool thing. Oh, and you just go and redock right there. That's so cool. There it is, docked. Oh my god, you just redock them perfectly? They just fit in? Wow, that's a magical thing. Look how crazy this is. Is there anything even out there? I could have sworn I just spawned in something out there. There we go. There's there's our woman. But look how weird this is. Like now we're over here in like the safe biome or the shallows biome and the camera shows the front of the Aurora. No signal on the camera's malarkey. There we go. It's adjusting. What do you mean no signal? Where's that freaking tech guy? So, okay, so we have camera three and four up. Oh, camera one and two are over still at the first one. Oh, I get it. That's so cool, like how they just depart and we get to go safely, like, just check out the Reaper Leviathans without any possible harm coming to us. This is so cool, we've never gotten to check them out like this before. Like, where we can actually just examine, we just, they, they don't even bother with us, we're too small. We should have designed these little camera orbs to look like fish, that'd have been, that'd have been pretty cool. Give them little fins and stuff, so we just feel like we're kind of camouflaged. I like how they're just kind of going for the base gentlemanly they don't even know they're on camera this shit's going on youtube bro get a better look at these cameras these things are so weird wow this is such a genius invention to have in this world i'm still not over this like i wasn't even i didn't even know these cameras were a thing when i started this video now i'm just kind of ecstatic over the whole thing camera three get your ass back here i gotta keep up with my cameras gotta recharge them Dude, you're not even- you can't even do anything! We're just mechanical. This is- this is the way to live. And we're in. Where is it? Where's our home? There we go. See, this still does not show anything. It doesn't show any possible enemies or life. I feel like if it should show anything, it'd be Reaper Leviathan. So that's why I'm thinking it's not showing anything yet. But it's still being worked on by the geniuses over at Subnautica. I trust them. What the fuck is all that? What? All right, Ass Reaper 3. Jesus, Ass Reaper 3. You should never have anything named after anything that gets to the threes in the world. Or at least in Subnautica. It just signifies way too much death. Dude, where do those Reapers go? I didn't, I didn't create them for the sake of their freedom. I was going to use them for, for, for torment and such. All right, it's going down. It's going down. I think it's going down. At least I believe it's going down. Fire! Fire torpedoes! It's going down and sooner than I thought it would! Shock him! Taze his ass! Okay, he's released us. Good god, that went down so fast. Didn't even have a second to break into it. Alright, you bastards. Ah! Just smacked in the face with his giant green ass. Okay. They've disappeared. We won that fairly fast, if I do say so myself. If you can call that a win. I still hear a reaper. Where are you? Show yourself, dirtbag. 
See, we took a lot of damage right there. Of course, we could have died if we didn't have any sort of defense. That's why it's always important to keep your Seamoth very stocked with all sorts of defenses. Because that was kind of malarkey right there. Torpedoes engaged! Get him! Damn, they swim so much faster than my torpedoes! That's my downfall. That's my downfall! Okay, we can't... Yeah, it looks like when you hit them with a torpedo, they straight up just disappear into a different direction. That's that's a very, very useful thing to know right there. Either that or he was just incredibly glitched because I spawned him in here. Oh, there's a couple more of them. Alright. Where did they just keep going? What is that kind of black magic right there, Subnautica? Fine, spawn stalker. 300. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Oh, I've done it again! Oh my god damn it! I'm just, I, what's the, I've got to learn the difference between 1 and 300. That's my issue. Holy hell, where's my Seamoth? Where's my Seamoth? Where's my Seamoth? Get me to the Seamoth! Oh my god! So this is what a few hundred stalkers in one place looks like. Oh, you are so lucky I'm out of, I'm out of torpedoes on there. Stop it! Just get out of here. Give me some distance. There we go. A star. Oh, I haven't seen one of these stalker blenders in so long. I miss spawning in hundreds of things. There's nothing quite like spawning in a Reaper Leviathan in a giant circle of stalkers because their teeth all do so much damage and it kills the Leviathan so fast. Alright, dirtbags. Prepare to meet your maker. All right, in the center of them. Look how many it just renders dead. Oh my god, it's like an EMP, but of stalkers. It just shuts down their hearts. Removes all cardiovascular function. Where are they all swimming? It's like they're swimming in one direction for like a certain season. Or are they all just following a specific peeper, that poor bastard? Alright, here goes the rest of them. Look at that, that's how you straight up kill every stalker in sight. Look at this battleground right here. This EMP is way too powerful. Like initially, they weren't going to give us anything to kill guys. Like, they, they didn't want that to be the point of the game. It's just killing creatures, but I mean... <laughs> Look at those, look at that body ground. This is the part of the movie where we have to hunt down the survivors. Make sure they don't disrupt the ecosystem. Oh, you poor lives don't even see it coming. Look at all that blood we were just covered in right there. Holy shit, I've never seen that much blood in Subnautica. This is brutal. Spawned in 100 fighters. How's that gonna go down? Yeah, I forgot, you're never supposed to spawn stuff when you're in your sea moth. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh my god, look at them all. It's like a... This is actually kind of cool to see right here. Get ready, you little shits! Look at that, and then they're all just dead right there. Just a hundred biters all just floating up to the top like a professional swim team. This EMP, I haven't given it nearly enough credit. I just want to carry like 50 power cells on me now. Because clearly anything that ever gives you crap just gets destroyed. Like, that's hilarious. Alright, now for the sake of seeing what 500 biters looks like. Have to check it out. Gotta give it a look for myself. Pretty much what I imagined. It teleports you out of the Seamoth, but as long as I'm still technically in the Seamoth, I'm okay. This is a fail. Should not have done this. It's like I'm looking at the most horrifying slideshow in history right here. Like, just frame by frame, picture by picture. Scary as hell. So now, oh, someone's at my door. Now I'm gonna try and somehow tase them all. Like, I realized that I should have spawned at 500. I just wanted to see what it would look like. And it was a fail because I'm only seeing about like 50 at a time. This should do something though. Something would have just changed. Look at that. As soon as they all die, it just gets so peaceful in the world. Look at them all. I'm, now, I'm, now I'm seeing 500 for sure. I'm gonna go swim through their corpses. <laughs> Man, my left eye is like driving me crazy right now. It's like burning like hell. Like, like, oh my god, this is what I get for torturing hundreds of creatures, isn't it? This is what I get. Camera 4, what are you doing up there, buddy? Oh my god, it's in a stalker mouth! Oh, you dirty little bastard stalker. What is the matter with you? <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> Look how far away we got carried. Is that my other camera, you shithead? Dude, the stalkers take the cameras off your base and swim away with them. Look at this. This guy's got my other camera right here in his mouth. Okay, that's kind of a flaw in the plan. Look, we have 70%. We've lost health. This is really weird, because a second ago, all these Reapers were not here. Are you going to try and eat me? No, never mind. But you, you're just going to carry the camera to the deep depths of below? He died. He died with the camera in his mouth. What if I tried... What if I tried getting that back? All the cameras have lost signal? 
What's happening? Where this was just in a stalker mouth again. Or this is the one from before. Can I swim out of the stalker mouth? How is this a thing? What happened to this one? Why is this one up here? Let's get you back over there. They're being carried very far away right now. Like, they're making it great distances. This is where the other one was. Oh, I'm on to you. I will find my long lost buddy. Dude, these stalker. Okay, this is a major flaw in the plan. Stalkers steal these. So, like, that's a good note right there. Careful where you put your freaking thing. Stalkers might steal it. Where's my other camera? It's just straight up mean the camera was eaten. They just ate my camera? Are you serious? These, oh my god, these stalkers show no mercy. They'll eat your camera right off your stuff. Straight up brutal. I don't even remember seeing any. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Severe Everything catch up. Detected. That's Secret so weird. There's like ghost reaper leviathans here. You guys realize that? Like there's no, no reapers in front of us whatsoever. None in the slightest. But then as soon as we, good God, it's lagging like crazy. That as soon as we, oh my God, you're just going to have to accept that there's hundreds of people in the game. So not okay. You're going to have to fix it. But as soon as we go into one of the cameras, camera four. All right. Break out of there. Do your thing. There you go. No, we've been kidnapped. What the shit? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Is that a stalker? Are we in a stalker's mouth right now? Dude, we're just kidding. This is actually kind of crazy. Like, to let a stalker take your camera and see where it ends up. This isn't really as cool as I pictured it, but... He's dropped us! We're free! Get out of there. Get out of there. Thank god. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually see the Reaper Leviathans now. Are they swimming after us? Is that what's going on here? Oh, he was like half dead. Look, the stalkers are chasing us. We're just a piece of metal. Okay, we're good now. They're dropping dead, like, randomly. Like, there's something in the water. The fish here are not healthy. What is this guy? He's just flailing in the opposite direction. I assume he's gonna drop dead. Oh, crap. I was just switching cameras, and then we got caught. Well, this is what it looks like inside a stalker's mouth, everybody. How is this a thing? There needs to be some EMP discharge or something on this. Like, you can't just be carried away by stalkers. There, I went ahead and made it daytime, which is like the most destructive dev command you could ever do, but since I'm not saving the world. Dude, this is perfect. I just can't believe how awesome this is. I, I know it sucks too getting carried away by a stalker, but at the same time, it's such an awesome addition. It just adds realism to it. Because we're small, bite-sized pieces of metal. That's like their favorite thing in the world. We're too small to even trigger crashes. Damn. That's a good little experiment right there. See, it opens up. Oh, wait, wait. Are we? Are we not? Are We might not be. I'm stuck in the... What, what the hell is going on around here? I seem to have lost movement. This game is breaking on me. I'm messing around with way too much dev commands right now. The game simply cannot stand it. All right, so that's my little daily dose of Subnautica for today. Welcome to my world, everybody. It is a world of mobile cameras getting eaten by fish and um, giant fish getting shot in the face with torpedoes. It's a pretty magnificent world, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. So um, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button. Oh, shit, I'm dying. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.